Hi, this is Chris from Mobile Tech Addicts. I'm going to take a quick look today at the Skyfire web browser. In case you don't know, Skyfire has now come out with private beta, so you can now anybody can download it, and there's also a VGA version for VGA devices. So we'll take a look at it today, and we'll show you running YouTube videos within the browser window. So here we go, and load Skyfire up. And there's the home page world news business news sports news various different links and uh, i think we'll go into the history because i've already loaded up mobile tech addicts site in the past so we'll go straight to mobile tech addicts show you how long it takes to load uh, quite a detailed page a few adverts and things on it and see what it looks like how it renders the page this is on a wi-fi connection it's not a, a cell connection so it shouldn't be take too long And here we go, there's the home page, renders very very nicely indeed, and uh, scrolling around very nice indeed as well. As you can see, any animations play perfectly in the browser window, obviously compared to the iPhone, the iPhone doesn't show any of the animations, it just takes a snapshot of the last picture that saw, keeps that there, this plays the full animations which is really nice to see. Zooming in, you can double click or tap the screen, it zooms it in. A little bit clunky the zoomed in interface I've found. It sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And uh it's not as fluid as the iPhones, but uh it still works most times I would say. There you go, Skyfire open up beta, private beta. Okay, let's have a look at a YouTube video now. Go to history. Find one that I've already had a look at. This device uh, that I'm using this on is the Touch 3G, the HTC Touch 3G. So I might as well go and have a look at the story that I did on the uh, the video I did of the Touch 3G. Let's have a look at that. So there you go, there's the YouTube window. Uh, sometimes I find when you press the button, it zooms rather than uh, I've tried double tapping it. Some, eventually what happens, it seems to open up the actual YouTube uh, website. Which is probably what's going to happen now. Oh, zoomed in, great. I'll click the button, it should play now, but for some reason it zooms again or it goes to the uh, YouTube page. So I'm not sure, I, I haven't used this a great deal, so maybe it's just me. But there you go, now you can see. Full sound, I haven't got, I haven't got the sound on, I've got it muted off, so. As you can see, it's uh, loaded up, and there we have a YouTube video playing within the browser. And I've got to say, the quality is superb. No stutters whatsoever absolutely brilliant real nice quality There you go, YouTube working up in the browser, works great. A lot of people uh, like to see a site called JibJab because that's heavily flash based. And um, I know the Irish beta that came out would not accept JibJab, it just said he didn't have the flash version 9 or 10, I can't remember which, but this JibJab loads fine and shows you the cards and everything like that. If you don't know what JibJab is, like a great cards and silly video site. Uh, it loads everything and plays them all, but I don't think you can, I've had never had any success creating anything. Um, just seems to be get to get you get stuck. But as you can see, there's the jib jab uh, page open. Let's see if we can play a video. There you go, jib jab animation video. So jib jab works fine as well with this. Although I'd, I'm not sure they can create cards. Really is nice and smooth the way it plays in the browser. Very impressed with it, I have to say. So I'll go back home now and 
the home page is quite nice and something about the UK news. Quick links. Yep, please to get more tasers, great stuff. I do find the uh probably it's me coming from Safari that the uh, actual controls are a little bit clunky and that but I think we've got to bear in mind that this this still is a beta and um you know it's not perfect yet but certainly navigation is not as fluid as the Safari browser on the iPhone. But uh I think using it for a bit you get used to it. It's certainly going to improve. Basic settings, smart fit. Uh, that's about it, really. History. Help yourself. <laughs> Another jib jab one. That's about it. Load time seems pretty quick. Um, no problems with it. I'm quite impressed with it. I've got to say, best Windows Mobile browser I've used to date. Um, just need to iron out the the kinks with the controls. This is Chris from Mobile Tech Alex. Thanks for watching.